What's going on? It's Casey from casey-sounds.com. So today's video is why you need a website. So there's a couple of reasons, a couple of good reasons why you need a website and I want to share them reasons why. First of all, I believe it makes you look professional. Like you know what you're doing, you're about your business. You're taking it as more than just a hobby. I'm not trying to throw shade on people who haven't got websites because I know there's some people out there killing it without a website. But personally, I feel it makes you look more professional if you've got a website. If money is an issue for you to create your own website, then there's, there's three platforms out there that you can set up your website on and create something that you can call your own. So yeah, it makes you look more professional, more about your business. Plus you can you can put your own stamp in it. You can, you can make it your, your home page. So you can put all your social media links, uh, your artists or your fans, artists. So your fans and people that might be thinking about working with you can go into your home, your website and see what you're about. You can constantly update it, make it look fresh, add your brand colors, your brand, your pictures, and just make it your own. So that's your own little content hub rather than just making i don't know instagram or youtube your your main or soundcloud your main source of um, people connecting with you like i said if it, if money is an issue go into like somewhere like wix wordpress we've, we've got free templates you can just set up a template on there and tweak that to make it look to make it look good my first website looked a mess complete mess i, I don't even think i can find it online i've searched everywhere to see if i can find it but it was just like a little it was a little um at the time my flash door player uh and some silly wallpaper in the background that looked it just looked cheap but it was a good place to start i didn't know no better do you know what i'm saying it's a gradual thing progression and over time it's built and it's starting to look a bit more a bit more pleasing on the eye easier to navigate before my home page was actually the beats player and you put in kcsounds.com and then it will come up with all the all my beats and stuff and then i got to a point where I didn't want it to look like that. I wanted to have like an actual homepage first and then an, another link to my Beats player. So that's what I've done. Um, if you want to use the same layout as mine, there's a link in the description of the plugin that I'm using and that's off of WordPress, which is simple to use. You can go in there, switch things up, make it look different, change the boxes and stuff like that. It's quite easy to use. If you get stuck, the guy that owns the template, it's quite easy to get hold of. So you don't have to worry about getting stuck or there's a like a frequently asked questions page where it just shows you how to do things step by step and that's how i've done mine so if you want to use that template go for it even though i'm pushing you to make your own website beat stars and airbit have got some really nice layouts at the moment which is included in their packages their monthly package and they look really cool so then if you like that sort of layout you can still do that with your own website another reason why i think you should have a website is because if you're using instagram youtube soundcloud and these other platforms to push your business then what happens when say for example the site crashes for some reason or or they just shut you down they just remove your your account everything that you've built up what's going to happen to that you know what I'm saying so you're going to need somewhere where you can actually have people go to with your actual brand name as your URL so people can still find you it's happened before big sites have gone down causing problems for beat sellers I mentioned no names if you know you know but they managed to sort it out now which is a good thing it can happen to any site but what I'm trying to say is if you've got your own home page then it's kind of down to you to keep on top of things and control obviously you can't stop you can't stop certain hackers but there are, there are some things that you can put in place to try and prevent that and also having your own website it gives you the opportunity to build your mailing list which is another video i'm going to do explaining why you need a mailing list which will probably be the video after this one if not there'll be a link is that the right corner <laughs> there'll be a link either in the description or in the top box yeah click that watch that and yeah i'll be explaining ways on how to build your mailing list and all the other good stuff if you haven't got a website make sure you get your own website because that is important for your brand and for your future career hope this video has helped if it has hit the like hit the subscribe button any questions hit me up on instagram because sometimes i don't see i don't see all of the comments in youtube and i might miss a question that you've asked and i don't want to come across rude so if you hit me up on insta i'll definitely reply to you thank you for watching Looking like a sailor today. <laughs> Peace.